the best place is uh, okay autodesk dot com slash develop inventor this is the place where you get all the details related to API then you have also like uh, some of the downloadable files out here some brief explanation and the best part is this uh, dev TV introduction to inventor programming this is around an hour uh, video you can download it as well and you that uh, explains you how you can uh, develop using visual basic dot net and doesn't give much information on C sharp but still it's worth it and then this is one part and the second part is uh, this this is uh, Autodesk user group international augie dot com you go there and uh, register it's fr it's for free and you have a lot of uh, material out here using which you can uh, learn faster under education tabs go to AU class handouts AU refers to Autodesk University that's held uh, at least once in a year or twice in a year and then you go to uh, year 2005 and select manufacturing uh, tab and then these are the some of the classes that were held and the one that would help you probably is uh, uh where is that okay this one moving up to autodesk inventor add-ins uh, the author is uh, basically uh, giving all the explanation with respect to visual basic uh, no visual basic 6 vb6 and also a bit of uh, vb.net but of course this is also a good point if you want to learn about making add-ins and how you, you have to debug it and all so it's loading up and uh, you can actually build this solution from Visual Studio itself by right clicking on this and then selecting uh, build solution so that should have been done earlier okay now the inventor is loading and uh, I hope we'll be able to see that the caption of uh, the inventor uh, application has been changed to what we had mentioned here as uh, add in loaded okay it's coming you can see that add in loaded has come out here so we were successful in uh, our first add in to verify we go to tools add ins then you see that we have ER CAD inventor add in startup and loaded. So, this is the first step, and the second step would be to get uh, command bar buttons and also some other uh, commands displayed here whenever a part is selected or an assembly is selected, and then getting the forms and uh, doing much more complex things. Thanks for watching.